Hello and welcome everyone. Richards Motor Sales RV Center and today I'm in Quincy, Michigan and we have a new arrival. Uh, my first look at uh, a new Sprinter by Keystone 343 BHS triple slide fifth wheel. It's a two bedroom, two full bathroom model and uh, make would make a great seasonal or destination choice or three-quarter ton truck or larger towable here's a look at our front basement and sprinters exclusive pull-out camp table is self-storing notice the ABS at the bottom in the ledges so we don't have um, wood or carpeting to deal with if things get wet I'm gonna try to make it to the uh, Outside camp kitchen is integrated into the door side kids room slide box. We've had rain and snow and everything else here and it's um, it's about 15 degrees so we're headed into the 40s next week so we are excited here in southern Michigan. Outside camp kitchen it has a range, storage, a three cubic foot refrigerator, nice LED lighting and as usual with the Sprinter we have um, swing around bumper mounted RVQ gas grill a porcelain gas grill that swings around and joins the kitchen for outside cooking which is great and uh, not to forget the uh, toy lock this is a very nice feature mounted to the frame at the factory and uh, we have padlocks and 20 feet of cable so we can lock up bicycles or maybe do something with the dogs um, or anything that might be valuable uh, just a nice feature we have a power patio awning and 16 inch wheels on 7,000 pound axles we also have a 12 gallon extra large gas electric water heater which is great for regeneration and large families um, we're pre-wired and pre-supported for an outside TV as well. So let's go in. We've got a 30-inch entry door that's that's Sprinter's friction hinge. Uh, I don't know if you've seen this before, but it's a great feature and it's starting to show up more often than not. So it's a 72 by 30 entry door. And in we go. So it's a mid-entry door and we come into the great room which is a combination kitchen living this is a big unit it's 39 feet weighs 11,030 pounds and um, 39 feet and a few inches long and again has three slides the main slide is 42 inches deep so they can do a couple things with that one is it certainly makes the unit feel more open and the other is they can then integrate a 48 inch dinette bench instead of um, instead of a 40 or a 42 so the deeper slide box allows for seating for maybe six people but certainly four real adults comfortably compared to our small dinette uh, doors underneath both for storage access anytime you see armrests and in pillow back like this we have a trifold memory foam hide a bed sofa sleeper. So sits very nice, makes a bed as well. Here's our entertainment center in the great room. We have a 40 inch LED TV, so the quality of the TVs has improved. And it's tied into Sprinter's sound bar, which I really like the sound quality of that um, for interior, interior music, sound, TV sports and so on and then a 5200 b2 electric fireplace that throws out heat as well and let's take a quick look at the kitchen pots and pans drawer waste basket storage and full extension 22 inch drawer guides very nice excuse me the um, pull out sprayer faucet and we have a 70 30 acrylic split sink <clears throat> And an eight cubic foot refrigerator with Sprinter's trademark gnarly 
cabin look, which is really cool. We're gonna be um, we're gonna be disappointed when they get away from this, but at some point they're gonna have to. And um, even the uh, hammered brass hardware is is cool or copper. So big pantry, big storage, big unit. We have next to the fridge a three door, or really a six door, three three compartment unit uh, pantry and then across from the bathroom this is not easy to photograph but I guess we can never have enough storage and this is really impressive so across from the bathroom we're still near the uh, kitchen area we have a giant two door that's even deeper um, for canned goods box goods and so on here's a look from back to front in our great room LED lights throughout flush mounted very nice um, on the back side of this kitchen in the spirit of no wasted space we have another pot and pan drawer and some access here as well our control panel and systems monitors all integrated in here and it's above on purpose hopefully above where a, a three-year-old can reach the switches very smart 15,000 BTU central air central heat and central uh, fan mode is done from this Coleman mock unit. Here's our isolated side hallway and a very important window. Now here's the cool thing. We have a front 80 inch residential dream collection upgraded mattress. So we have a residential queen bed in the master. Windows on both sides of course and our second air conditioner so we have a 13,500 BTU AC unit, a low profile in the bedroom, and a 15,000 BTU AC unit that's downstairs that's tied into our ducting. So we've got some square footage here, and even in southern Michigan, we can hit a 100 degree heat index for three months of the year off and on. So it probably justifies a second air. We do need 50 amp service to do it. So here's our master bath, and the reason we say master bath is. Uh, we have a second full bathroom in this unit, so the parents, so to speak, have a uh, glass shower enclosure with a residential fiberglass tub and, and seat, and nice linen closets and storage below in a porcelain foot pedal flush toilet. We're going to head to the kids' room, and it's quite a ways removed from the parents' room. So here's the here's the home run. We have opposing slides and a 14 foot wide kids room. So on the off door side we have a sofa that's a fold over and it actually will sleep two people. So it's not really a jackknife. It's um, got more. Here I'll show you. It's got more width than a than a jackknife. So two kids certainly can sleep here. We have an overhead bunk that when dropped down exposes our window which is nice we have a 32 inch LED TV in the back kids room on an 18 inch swing arm so it will turn towards the sofa or whatever we want it to nice finish we've also got some something to note we've got some uh, and it's probably hard to see on a video with my little setup I've got ceiling height in here so even in the back kids room we have some pitch to the ceiling some openness and a less closed in feel so on the door side, remember we have an outside camp kitchen in, integrated into uh, the bottom of this. So on top we have a bunk and the bottom folds down and um, makes really what is our fifth sleeping area. Let's see if I can do this without breaking my neck. Um, integrated ladder for the upper bunk. And then here's what this looks like. It's not really a trundle, it's a fold down, but we do have a cushion and it's on a pedestal, so very nice. Uh, one, two, three, four, and one overhead. It's really not a stretch to say this is a five sleeper. So kids room, very exciting. We have a power fan in the back kids room for, for intermittent weather and to circulate air. And the last thing I wanna show you is the second full bath and it's really assigned to the kids room it's right outside the kids room door we have a second foot pedal flush toilet 
And look at this finish. We have a very nice vanity with a little counter, which is a bonus. And then the overhead, really two medicine cabinets, and the one on the far right is a little deeper. So it, it, it um, works really well for uh, girls and uh, teenagers and so on. So here's our what makes it a second full bath. We have a shower tub combo and we've really got some ceiling height down here because this is our downstairs bath. So very cool, very impressive, very nice unit. I know I ran on too long, but these are exciting products and exciting times at Richards Motor Sales RV Center. I'm Steve. See us in our reading location. We've been there 54 years. And our Quincy, Michigan location, we've started our second year and we're just excited to be part of the Branch County, Michigan community. Uh, thanks again. We'd love to have you stop and take a tour, go RVing, and God bless your family.